Hey everybody, my name is Jason Johnson. I'm here at the University of Kentucky. I'm here today to talk to you about, from a student perspective, how to submit assignments as videos or videos as assignments. We're going to look at four different ways and so let's begin. This is my demo canvas shell. We've got our student here, Tony Stark, aka Iron Man. We are going to submit a video here for the scenario number one assignment. Click on submit assignment. Now, if your teacher has enabled it, we have multiple ways that we can submit this video assignment. The simplest and the first way is to choose your file. If I click on choose file, find your file that you want to submit. Usually has a .mov or mp4 ending on it. Click on open and submit the assignment. Depending on the size of the file, it might take a few minutes to upload, and so you just have to bear that in mind. You can always click here and download it to make sure that you've uploaded the correct file. A second way to add a file here in Canvas for an assignment is to click on Website URL. Now, this URL could be a, a video from YouTube. You could upload something to YouTube. You could upload it to Dropbox. I'm going to show you an example here where I have uploaded the file in my Google Drive because it's an easy place to store files. And here at the University of Kentucky, we have unlimited storage. So here's my file. If I right click on that file, I can click on share. I can get a shareable link. I can either leave it for me. Anyone at University of Kentucky can view this link, which would probably be fine, but it does force people to sign into Google and not everybody uses Google. Instead, I'm going to change it to more and I'm just going to make this on anybody with the link. Now you want to think about this depending on what the file is. Um, so this would mean that nobody can find it, but somebody, if they had the link, they could send it to somebody else and they could share it. I do like, if possible, to be able to do, allow access so that people don't have to have a sign in, but they can only view. They can't edit, but they can only view it. That means that they, they can't delete it. I'm going to click on save there and copy link, click on done. And now I can go back over to my assignment, control V or right click and paste and submit my assignment as a link. Now if I click on view the original page, it should come up with my assignment as the link there. All right, that's two. Third way is as a Google Doc. Now this may not work at every institution, but here at the University of Kentucky because we have uh, Google for students, we can, through Canvas, authorize Google Drive access. When I leave this, I'm going to have to authorize it and then come back again. So I will sign in and you can't see my email and so on here, but I, I can sign in. It's going to ask me if I want to allow Canvas to have access, and I do want it to allow it to have access. When I do that now, you can see it's working on it. It gives me a list of folders that I can click on. So I can access this directly inside of Canvas versus having to upload. This is particularly helpful if you're doing a lot of these kind of things, maybe not so much for a one-off. I can click on my submission. And then there it is. All right, so now the fourth way is using media. Through media, you can also upload it here. Sometimes if the first one doesn't work, I meant to mention that on the file upload, sometimes the file upload is too large to upload. If, if files get over, I think it's around 500 and 600 uh, megabytes right now, and certainly into the gigabytes, uh, it can be, Either you just wait for a while and see if it happens, but if it doesn't or if you get an error, it might be too large. If that is the case, then you want to use a link because Google Drive should be able to do it, Google Doc, or 
Sometimes you can try to upload the media and sometimes that gets around the file size restriction. So if I click on here, I can upload a media and select the file type as I did before. It's just a slightly different way to upload it. You can give that a try. The other thing we can do from this media tab is to record a video directly. So if I click on there, the default is for this tab to come up. And now you can see me in the video monitor here. I can start recording. Hi, this is my video assignment. Click on finish. I can put a title on it. Click on save. I should be able to play Hi, it back. Hi, this is my video assignment. Let's start over. And now you have recorded your video assignment directly into the assignment tab and you can submit. There's one final way that you can do it is through Office 365. I'm not going to show you that way today, but know that if you are connected in with Office 365 and if you store things there like the Google Docs and if it's provided through your institution, you can click through here, you can log in and you can upload your file in that way. I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I hope you get your assignments in and in on time, of course.